Right guys, now before the video starts, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to the channel, that would help me out a lot, or you could even like the video, it helps out the channel more than you realise. Yeah. Right guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the Road to Glory. Now, in today's video, it has been three months since our last episode on the Road to Glory. I don't be able to tell that from our coin balance and our record that it's, it's, it's been a long time. Obviously, it's been that long, icon moments have came out. That's how long it's been since our last episode, and what's in here actually? Let me check. Oh, okay, just untradeable 83s, okay. So, um, let's bring up to date with what's happened since our last episode. And I'm going to try and make more of the Road to Glory, because I've been, just been forgetting to do it. And I want to I wanna actually bring this back. So, since our last episode, we've gone and, sell, got, gone and got ourselves transfer banned again. Yeah, wait, what? First one teams we won. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so we went ahead and got ourselves transfer banned uh, a second year in a row because I had an SPC account where I was basically transferring coins over to this account and you're meant to only transfer like a minimum, like a max 100k a day I said to transfer like 300k coins which didn't go down well with EA because they transfer banned me not even an hour later I was banned from the market so I've learned my lesson, it's, it's happened two years now, two years in a row so FIFA 21, no FIFA 22 I mean I'm not going to transfer coins, I'm just going to have a second backup account where I'm going to do SPCs on and then like slowly maybe do like 10k every like week or something which wouldn't be that bad, 10k every week because you can't get banned for that but yeah, just like slowly transfer over, or not, not even transfer it at all, just have like a second account where I can open packs on with all the money I make from transferring stuff but not transferring between my main account and my second account because they are both transfer banned now but um, since the last episode, the squad has changed quite a lot, <laughs> obviously, it's been three months. So yeah, let me show you what's happened to the squad. Now, I can't remember the old squad, if I have a screenshot of it, I'll, I'll throw it up on screen now. But yeah, that's what it looked like, if I, if I can find it. But this is what a bench looks like, and as you know, Salah was basically a starting player in the old squad. And basically, only two of these players actually have started for me before. Toko and Kambi and Salah, obviously it's Dembele, for the Chinese Super League icon swaps. And... He's started in friendlies and obviously his objective card. I haven't even played with Rainer yet. I haven't. I haven't played with any of the other cards. Because, um, obviously icon swaps are out. So I've done the 81 plus pack and the 82 plus pack. And now I'm saving up for the prime icon moments Jekko for my team. And you'll see why in a sec. So let's start off with our goalkeeper. Which is icon, base icon Van der Sar. Now if you did this card, I feel bad for you. Because he's, he's just so shit. Like he's terrible. He just doesn't save anything. Then at right back we have Nelson Semedo. Obviously I'm transfer banned so I can't even upgrade him. Which I wish I could get like a better left right back I mean. Then in our right centre back we're going to go with Fernando Hierro. He he's the card that got me transfer banned basically. Because of him I got transfer banned. No other centre back and the whole focus of this episode is just Fofana. And this is what we're going to be upgrading. And we're going to bring it, upgrade in the Cucurella as well. So we going to be getting his 86 and his 87 in today's video. And at left back, we have an absolute tank, Theo Hernandez. I mean, for a left back, he has played over 300 games, but 16 goals, 19 assists. He just comes out of nowhere when I need him, and he just scores. And obviously, he has 98 pace. He he might as well be the fastest left back in the game, but he's at, he doesn't feel fast in game, but he's, he's just a tank for me. And our centre mid spot, our newest addition to the team, is future stars Curtis Jones. Oh my god, he is amazing to play with. Just look at this card. Six games, 23 goals, two assists. He is amazing to play with. I only got him last night, but I, I, I'm in love with his cards. Like, it was, I was ever going to do him or Roy Keane. So actually, Roy Keane links to everyone, but then and Jekko came out, and I was like, okay, we're just going to do Jekko. And you'll see why in his right mid spot. So in right mid, we've got flashback Ronaldo. Now, I am so happy with this card. A lot of people were saying it's bad. It's not. It's not bad. Just look at the stats. That's not a bad card. He's sick in game, he's so good. Then we're going to move on to a right cam and left cam, we'll just do them together. Obviously you might have saw them. It is Gattuso and Paul Pogba. And then at left mid, we've gone and got a million coin player. Well he was a million coins when he came out, I don't know how much he's worth now, but we've gone and got Future Stars Bergwijn. This team's already very expensive just at first. Now obviously we're going to I don't know how much this card's worth. But I'm pretty sure it's like 7 or 8 million. That was the last time I checked. That's how, that's how much he's worth. And this was the biggest dub of the entire year. Boys. 
We've got Team of the Year on Mbappe. Team of the Year on Mbappe. He is an absolute beast. An absolute beast. Look at that record. Just look at that record. He's a beast. He just is. He just is sick. Like, he just does everything I want him to. He just... This team is so unbelievable to play with. Now, the reason... Now, in-game, obviously, Gattuso goes into, uh, into CDM. I'll show you what formation I play in-game. So, in-game... Let's go to ultra attacking. I play two different formations in game, so I haven't played a 4 3 3. I put Gattuso and Pogba as my defensive midfielders and Curtis Jones at Cam. Or I will play uh, the 4 2 2 2 uh, with Mbappe and Bergwijn striker, Curtis Jones and Ronaldo as the Cams, Pogba, as Gattuso, Pogba and Gattuso as the CDMs. For wondering why Pogba, you know, he, he has like 60 defending, which is very, very bad. But I've upgraded him, so he has 76 defending. Which is like what? Eight eight less than him? Eight less than Fofana? I think it's it's, it's the same as um Nelson and Tomato. So this Pogba card is the same as Nelson and Tomato on defending. And because he has eighty five physical, he just feels amazing to play with at a CDM. Especially with Gattuso with ninety defending, eighty eighty eight physical. It's just it's just a nice little team to play with in game. And geez, Mbappe's contracts have run out. So is Fofana, although we haven't played a game with him yet, so he's got the base contract. But this is the team. Um, obviously, Salah doesn't even make the bench. I like to have a, I like to have a, a special bench, like a special card bench. It looks nice. This Holland, though, I I only packed the Babian last night, and apparently he's worth a million coins, which is sick. But I'm, I'm still waiting for Hernandez to get his upgrade. But enough about the team. Uh, let's go into upgrading all. What's his name? Wesley Fafana. Six foot three. An absolute, he just looks like a beast of a card. Like, he just is. He just is a beast of a card. Especially with a shadow on him. His, his main card is 86. I think it has 86 defending. And like 80 pace. Or something, something around there. So he'll have like, he'll have like 96, 96 defending. And like... 90 something pace so yeah my, both my defenders will basically have almost 99 defending like he has 99 defending this for fun call upgrade will have also 99 defending and then um i guess if i'm updating you on what's happened what's happened with the team there's only one player that's been with me from the start and it's pogba he's the only player who's been with me basically the entire game except i didn't pack him like 100 matches after oh no i didn't i thought oh okay it's four five three Oh, I've put. Oh, I packed Pogba first, didn't I? Yeah, Pogba's been with me since like the first week of FIFA. I'm just stuck with him. Like, I just like his card. I just. But it's time to get an upgrade. So let me show you what the team that I'm trying to build. So what we want to do? Go to Dream here. This is this is the Dream Team, okay? We want Prime Icon Moments Jeppo. Because obviously in this team we're going to change the formation again. I'm not I'm not really made my mind up yet. But I think in a four two two two. Striker. Oh, actually, I don't know now. But see, that Jekko card looks sick. So I'm probably play them two striker. Oh no, because I've got I, I've got a very attacking team with this team. Because his defending's absolute shite. He's got 92 dribbling, 92 passing, 87 shooting, 85 pace. He's perfect to feed the ball through to Mbappe, and he's just perfect to get the ball fed through from anyone. He just he just will be sick in game. Like I already know. Everyone like I've seen a lot of people on TikTok and stuff and like Twitter and YouTube as well saying this card is just shit. But I honestly don't think it is. I honestly think it's like a beast of a card. Like the only downsides to his card are his physical. His physical is terrible, but I've already thought about this. I'm gonna get I'm gonna put um, a what's it called on him. Uh an architect. To get his physical and passion. Because imagine him. Actually what would we put on him? Definitely something to do with physical. Let's have a look what we could put on him. Let's have a look at what we have. Physical and um, defending. Does he even need better defending really? Put an art no an artist at the end. That would make them both ninety nine. We probably want something with physical and pace. Physical and pace. If there's anything with physical and pace we'll use that but I I don't think there is. Cause I'm pretty sure I checked last night and I don't think there is so I'll probably put an architect on him as well, like Mbappe, to get that defending up and get better uh, physical. I don't know, I said defending. But I mean, look at his player traits for a start. 
playmaker, long shot taker, and technical dribbler. He also has the flare and outside of the foot shot. He does the long shot. I love long shots in this game because Curtis Jones as well. He has, although it doesn't say it here, let's look at his long shots. 90 long shots and shot power 91. When you take a shot with this card, oh my god, it feels, your whole controller just vibrates, it does, he just will score from anywhere, like, you know when you take a powerful shot, or like you have a powerful tackle, and the whole controller just vibrates, that's what happens when Curtis Jones even takes a shot, it feels so powerful with him, like, his shot feels so powerful, and then obviously Mbappe has got basically all 90s and shoot except for penalties, well, that's why we have Ronaldo, the penalty king. Ignore, ignore that. Ignore that. It says seventy-seven penalties. He is truly the penalty king. He scores every penalty that I even have. He is the number one penalty taker. I don't care what his card even says. He's the best penalty taker in the game, hands down. So this episode, I've probably wasted ten minutes already. Let's get into getting this full final card. And we need to we only need to do two objectives left. So we need to do what do we need to do? Uh we need to do what's that? Nine more goals with French players. We need to play five right, more So here we go. Here's our first Very clip with, with the, the full final goals. So goals. Now what we have to do in this is score goals at French yeah, players. Yeah, Basically everyone knows who I played against, I just gave them the win. Which um yeah, because obviously you do need wins to actually do this full final, but I already got all my wins, so I've just given everyone wins. And here's the first match where I score with my French player. It's going to be in a minute, but this clip was a bit longer than I anticipated. But there we go. There's our first goal. This guy paused it for some reason. I can't remember why, but yeah, he didn't He didn't leave. And um, I'm going to show you what the match I did now. I think he won like 5-1 or something. Let's just have a look. So yeah, no, he won 5-3. Wait, I don't remember scoring in that match, but yeah, do you win 5 3? Alright, so here's the next match, and here is our goal from Ribery. Is that? Wait, does Ribery score here? Um, no, he doesn't. It's Thompson, or Thomason, who scores our goal. And this guy won the match by two goals, so he won 3 1, and that was it. So then we move on to our next match. Which, um, our goal was actually quite annoying to score in this match, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this, this guy was just sweating the entire game. And I'm pretty sure he did beat me like 13-1. I actually had to work for that goal, which was annoying. Because this guy, the entire game, the only reason I celebrated there, was actually, I'll show you now. As soon as I score this goal, I literally bring my keeper out and he starts like doing skills and everything. My keeper's out and he's doing skills. So yeah, he was kind of a dickhead. And he did, he literally full celebrated after every single goal, but... I think he beat me like 13-1, 14-1, alright. Alright, now we're on to our next match, which we both actually scored quite fast. This guy actually gave me the goal, but uh, when he switched to the defender, I kind of got scared because I thought he was going to actually try to tackle me, which he does, but then he still just gives me the goal, which was in a very tight position. And the, I think I actually won this match. I think this guy just kept scoring in goal, and I just kept shooting from the halfway line, but yeah, 8-3. Um, I actually remember that match, kept, just kept shooting the ball from anywhere and kept going in. But then this match, um, again, another time I had to actually try for my goal, because I was actually like really trying to get the goals at this point. Okay, I've gone a few matches where people were just like, properly sweating in managerial masterpiece. But there we go, that's, the first, that's that goal. And the score for that match ended being 9-2. So here we go, there was our eight matches. I actually forgot to record two of them. But you might be able to see it most of the matches. I just sat AFK and I just pressed triangle so my keeper would run out so the game wouldn't automatically end. So I just scored one goal and pressed triangle. Because you all you had to do was score one goal, which was basically simple. And then I just let the person win. But there were some actual people sweating goals still, even though I was letting them win. But we have the Fofana card finally. I'm so happy about this card because he is so good for my team as well. Like with a with a shadow, 89 pace, and I think 96 defending, will it be? Let's have a look. 
Yeah, 89 pace and 96 defending. It's pretty sick, I can't lie. It is pretty sick. So let's stick a shadow on him right now, actually. And that'll be the video done. I, I think I was doing like Corella card. I think I was going to fetch him off. But, I mean, his card's kind of shit, to be honest. Like the Cucarella, yeah, that's it. He's got five games left. I can just do that in my own time. Like, there's no point making a whole video on it now. I only, I only made the video around that guy because he's actually gonna be a starting player. But that Cucarella, he is not. So we might as well finish off the video with these two seventy-five plus rated rare players. Um, it's not gonna be anything in them, but we might as well just open them up. Might as well just open them. See what we get. First one's got a board. No surprise. Obviously, it wouldn't be a board. I mean, yeah, Souza, and then the second one. At least be an 82. If it's an 82, I'll be happy. But if it's a board, I'll be really happy because you never get walk out of these. Oh, it's a UCL. That's actually alright. Oh, it's not. It's a con. Why are these players still in packs? Why is Rojo? Why are these players still in packs? I have no idea. They actually need to just bin them players and bin. Them just been the Champions League players and them, they literally do nothing to the game. But yeah, there we go. We can delete this team and just look at this guy's fucking head for a start. That's the guy I've been playing my matches with. But now we can delete this team. So, MMG. I don't know why I could. Wait, yeah, Masterpiece. Managing a Masterpiece, so just shorten it down. But we now get. Our third walkout in the starting 11. I mean, we did already have one in the 84 for Fana, but it's not his max card, so I'm not going to count it. So there we go, our third, our third one. And that just looks insane. Let's stick a shadow on him if we have one. We do, it was right there, but it's fine. So it's 89 pace and 96 defending. Yes, please. Yes, please. My two defenders now both basically have 99 defending and almost 90 pace. That, I mean, how are you getting past that defence? How? Genuinely tell me how you're going to get past this defence of Fofana and Fernando Hierro. Like, this is probably one of the best teams I'm ever going to play with and it's only going to get better. Even though I'm transfer banned, it's only going to get better, because this year has been such a sick year to get cards for me. Like, look. Just look at the team. Except for except for Gattuso. Everyone else is sick. Although Gattuso actually, he's sick. He's better than his, he's better than his um, mid. I think his mid's an 87. And he's actually, he's a lot better than his mid. I've seen his mid stats, and his mid is... Because obviously, you, if you want Gattuso in the team, you're not going to want him as an attacker. And you want to play him defensive. His mid has got 87. His mid's got worse defending. And he's attacking. He's, like, actually, let me show you guys. Let me show you. Let me just prove my point here, because I, I think I might be talking shit a bit. But um, I, I know his um, his base is a better defender. Yeah, let me look. Let me look. Yeah, look, his mid's worse. His mid is worse. Sixty-two shooting. Is that? Is his shooting actually gone down? His mid's worse. He has sixty-two shooting. In his mid. So you can't play. He's just. His mid card's terrible. How can you say your base card's better than your mid? Okay, well, yeah, I'm t I mean, I got Gattuso, which is better than his mid, so that's cool, I guess. That's cool. But yeah, I'm going to end the video off here. If you did enjoy, uh, leave a like, subscribe, and I'm going to go play with this team for probably the next week straight because it's going to be fun to play with. And yeah, peace.